The fourth component is going to be our peninsular rivers. The peninsular rivers have broad and shallow valleys as against the deep gorges formed by the Himalayan rivers. This indicates that the peninsular rivers existed much before the Himalayan rivers came into being. These rivers are also called mature as against the young rivers of the Himalayas. The main rivers of the peninsular plateau originate from the western ghats and flow in a west to east direction to join the Bay of Bengal by Godavari, Krishna and Kaveri. The Narmada and the Tapti are the two exceptions which flow towards west and join the Gulf of Kambat. These rivers eh, can be divided into two portions. So one of these rivers that flows into the Bay of Bengal region, another that goes into flow into the Arabian Sea. For a long time it was thought that Mahanadi originates eh, from the southern margin of the eh, Amarkantak region. In fact, eh, it has been proven beyond doubt now that eh, Mahanadi originates from eh, Sihawa mountain in Chhattisgarh. The Subhanrekha and the Brahmani are the rivers eh, which flow between the Ganga, and the Mahanadi deltas in joint Bay of Bengal after flowing in east and southeast directions. Godavari is the largest of the peninsular river flowing into Bay of Bengal. It is often called as Dakshin Ganga because of its large size. It rises in Trimbak in Nasik district of Maharashtra and joins the Bay of Bengal in Andhra Pradesh. The Krishna which flows south to the Godavari originates from a spring near Mahabaleshwar. After flowing across Maharashtra, Karnataka and Nandu Pradesh, it falls into Bay of Bengal. The Koena, Bhima and Tungbhadra are its major tributaries. Ghat Prabha and Bhima originated from Maharashtra in Western Ghats, while the Mahat Prabha originated from Karnataka in Belgaon district. The Tungbhadra rises in north of Shimoga in Karnataka. The Kaveri rises in Tal Kaveri from the Brahmagiri Hills in Western Ghats in Kodagur district, that is Kur of Karnataka. It flows eastward, crossing the Ghats. A series of rapids and waterfalls are found on its upper course, on which the Chunjang Kate Falls and the Shu Samudram Falls are famous. There are other small streams that also originate in the Western Ghat and flow east to join the Bay of Bengal. These are Tamraparni or Tamirparni and the Vaigai. Originates from the peak of the Piriya Potigai near to the Agastimalai Hills. It's, of course, it is great in the sense that it is a, it is a, a cradle of some civilizations, but uh, unlike most of the other Indian rivers, it is fed by both the monsoons, uh, that is southwest as well as the northeast. Now, that makes it unique. Uh. Prior to the bifurcation of the Tindal Valley district, uh, the Tamil Parnai was the only major river in Tamil Nadu which had its source uh, and end in the same district. Uh. Now, that was the story of rivers that were flowing into the Bay of Bengal region. Then there are some rivers that are flowing into the Arabian Sea. The Narmada, Tapti, Savamati, and Mahi are the major rivers flowing into the Arabian Sea. Narmada and the Tapi are the rivers flow which flow in a rift valley. The Narmada is the largest peninsular river flowing in westward direction. It rises from the Amarkantak peak of the Mahakala range and flows through the rift valley in between Vindhya and the Satpura ranges towards the west and drains into the Gulf of Kambat. Tapti is also known as Tapi River and it is a much smaller river in comparison to that of Namira. It rises from the Mahadev range and flows in a rift valley lying between the Satpura and the Ajanta range towards the west. It passes through Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra and Gujarat. It drains into the Gulf of Kambat. The port Surat is situated on the mouth of Tapti. The Sabarmati drains the northwestern part of the peninsular plateau. The Sabarmati river rises in the Aravali hills and flows south and southwestwards to join the Gulf of Kambat in the Arabian Sea. The Mahi rises in the western Vindhya escarpment in Madhya Pradesh and after flowing through the Vagad region of Rajasthan enters Gujarat and flows into the Arabian Sea in the Gulf of Kambat. The Luni is an enduric river. It rises from Anna Sagar near Ajmer and uh, drains to the desert of Rajasthan towards the southwest. It merges into the Ran of Kutch. Rivers in Goa are short, almost perennial, and these include Terekhol, Mandovi, or Mandovi, the Baga, Zuari, Kolwal, Saleri, Mandre, Harmal, Sal Talpona, and uh, Galzibang. 
are the 11 rivers of Goa which are known as the lifelines of the state. Three of these are significant. Terekol is significant, Manduvi is significant, and Juari is equally significant. The Manduvi is the major river of Goa. This river earlier was popular by the name of Goa Mati. It is believed that name Goa was taken from Manduvi river and it receives its name from Gomantak, from Gomati as this river had significant place in the life of the Goan scriptures and Goan history. The Zuari river is the longest river in the state of Goa and has second largest basin after Manduvi. The Zuari source water lie entirely within the state with the interstate boundary almost following the water divide. The Zuari after flowing a zigzag stretch, it joins the Arabian Sea at Marmagoa Donna Pola point. Now that is significant because that is the point that is also in Goa known for, for your interest, lover's point as well because Donna Pola happened to be a place where the two lovers went on to dive into the water, I don't know for what reason. Terikol is the northernmost river which originates in the Manuhargar in the Sahyadris and runs along the border of Goa in a southwesterly direction and then assumes a northwesterly flow before discharging itself into the Arabian Sea. Periyar is the longest river in Kerala, originates from the Sivagiri Mala. Periyar is the one of these longest rivers and there are numerous rivulets join to form the Periyar River. After a brief bifurcation, the Periyar River joins the Bimbanad Lake in at Vadapulha. Now, this was a description of uh, the peninsula rivers, the peninsula rivers flowing into both of them, that is uh, uh, Bay of Bengal as well as in Arabian Sea.